let's discuss permit permutations and combinations. This is a topic you might learn in an Algebra 2 course, but of course, generally, you might see it more in a statistics course or in a statistics chapter. And the idea is that based on having a certain number of options, you can determine, or a certain number of uh, things to choose from, you can determine how many options those things will interact with one another. For example, if you have 20 people and you're trying to figure out how many different combinations you can get to pick a president, a vice president, and a treasurer of an organization, whenever order is important, okay, when order is important, we use uh, permutation. When order is important. So if you have 20 permutation 3, basically you would plug that into the formula 20 factorial because this is n as it shows here n and then permutation r so n is 20 and r is 3 so 20 factorial and then you have 20 minus 3 factorial right so then you can basically go on and solve you have 20 factorial divided by 17 factorial remember a factorial occurs where you just take a number and you go down like 20 times 19 times 18 times 17 and so on and so that is an example of uh, factorial all the way to 1. And so 20 factorial divided by 17 factorial, if you want to see the, the, rith the, the math for that, we have 20 factorial, well, actually 20 times 19 times 18 times 17. And then in the denominator, we just have 17 times 16 all the way to the end. But notice that the 17 factorial will cancel from 17 to the end. What you do then is you take your calculator and you say 20 times 19 times 18 and you multiply those out and that would be your answer. So you just say 20 times 19 times 18. And that answer in this case is 6,840, right? These are the number of options. If you had a problem asking you about permutations, um, the sort of permutations where order is important. So you have 6,840 different options that could occur. If I give you the same problem, now this is not in any context of any specific problem, but if I give you a question and I say, what is 20 combination uh, 3, right? If you have 20 combination 3, then you would say 20 factorial divided by 3 factorial times 20 minus 3 factorial. So that becomes 20 factorial. So if you have 20 factorial divided by 3 factorial into 20 minus 3 factorial, that becomes 20 factorial or 20 times 19 times 18 times 17 divided by, and again, this will go on, 3 factorial, which is 3 times 2, so times 2 times 1. And then over here, you're going to have 17 factorial like you had earlier on with the permutation part of the problem. So the 17 factorial will cancel 17 to the end. You have 3 times 2 times 1. We know that 3 times 2 is 6. So 6 here goes into 18 3 times. So you have 20 times 19 times um, 3. And you take your answer there, and that will be the combination answer. So I just gave you an example with 20 combination 3. You use that formula for uh, anything with combinations. So that's 20 times 19 times 3, and the answer is 1,140. Notice with permutations, again, with permutations, when the order is important and um, repetition is allowed, so if you have n permutation r, you will have that first number, 6,840, if we had 20 permutation 3. And if we have 20 combination 3 using our formula, we will have... A different answer with um with, with order sorry so with order order is important with permutation it is not important with combination um, with combination you can think of different situations where if we had 15 um, toys we wanted to give to five different neighborhoods what are the different ways we can give these toys sort of uh, if we're gonna give three toys at a time um, what are the different ways we can do that you see combination is, is a little different um, you, th you think of a combination lock. That's another example that we see that you use. So combination, uh, 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 the, the order is not important. Permutation, the order is important. NPR is the N factorial divided by N minus R factorial. So that's for permutation. N factorial divided by N minus R factorial. While C, sorry, NCR is n factorial divided by r factorial into n minus r factorial. So that's just one example of permutation and combinations. If you have questions on this, please put a note, put an asterisk, send an email if you want to dive deeper into this topic.
Remember, it's permutation and combination. That's what we've just looked at. And keep up the good work. And if you have any questions, as I said, email. Otherwise, we'll see you in the next video.